We can fill in the element connectivity matrix using a for loop that goes through all the elements. So for e equal 1 to n e, the number of elements, then if we look for a pattern in the global node numbers relative to the element numbers, we might recognize that the first node of the element is the same as the element numbers. So I'll write elm connectivity e1, so the first in, uh, value there for the second index will be equal to e. And the second node of the element is the same as the element number plus one. So element connectivity e comma two is e plus one. And then we can end our for loop. Now we can use this element connectivity matrix to assign all the ke element coefficients to the global coefficient matrix k. So first we need a for loop going through all the elements. So for e equal one to ne again. Then we need two for loops, one for the i subscript and one for the j subscript of this ke coefficient matrix. So to put in the four ke coefficients, we can use for i equal one to two, and then for j equal one to two. And then we can put in the two by two ke matrix into the k matrix and we need to put it at i is equal to element connectivity e comma i and at j is equal to element connectivity e comma j. So what it'll look like is this. We're going to take the k at i and this j position, so put in the i value, element connectivity e comma i comma the j value which is element connectivity e comma j and that's equal to the k matrix at the same location so I'm going to put i again here e comma i element connectivity e comma j and I'm going to add on plus the ke value that we want to add on, ke i comma j. Since i and j already go from just one to two, we're not going to use the element connectivity there. We're just going to use the one or the two values. And that's it. So then, sorry, I'm running out of room here. We just need to end all these for loops. Go ahead and program the element connectivity matrix into your code as well as the k matrix assembly.